why people would think that. Again, I you let me know. It must be something that I'm putting out into the universe or something. <laughs> oh, down. And down. Oh, down. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Yami. Please subscribe down there. I've always been interested to see how others view me or kind of like what vibes I give off to others. Um, so I asked you guys on my Instagram, which I'll put right down here. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram what your assumptions of me are or what are some assumptions that you've had previously about me. Um, and you guys did not disappoint. You guys really... <laughs> Some of the things are kind of, some of the things are kind of off the wall, um, but I thought it was, it'd be kind of fun to like react to some of them and kind of go into a little bit more detail because I want you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So one of the first things that uh, somebody said that they assumed about me was that I must have money or be rich because I'm always traveling. <sighs> Listen, <laughs> I don't know who put this out there or if y'all just came to like a, con a you know conclusion that I was rich and y'all just put a stamp on it and moved on to the next thing but let me be the first to tell you I am not rich I'm not balling I don't have money by any stretch I'm not like no, no, no. I I work just like everybody else. Um, I budget. I, you know, set aside money. I save money. But I do not. I didn't come from a rich family. I do not have all this disposable income that I can just do whatever I want with. I have made some budgeting videos in the past about how I, you know, divide my income and about my investments and about how I save money and things that I do. Um, and I'll link that up here um, somewhere so you can get, you guys can see. Another thing that I, um, I'll actually a lot of you guys for some reason thought or think this or kind of just assumed that I am married. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I understand I, I've been I'm very open I've been very open on my channel and on my social media accounts about you know Alex, Alex. <laughs> I, I, I've introduced you guys to Alex I have a whole video of him and I just answering some questions and I'll put that up there um, so I, I I don't know where the confusion comes from I've always said that he's my boyfriend I've never denied having a boyfriend I've um so I don't know why but I, I think a lot of people actually that's probably one of the co most common uh assumptions about me is that I'm married or that we're engaged um no <laughs> um it, it'll it'll happen it'll come one day one day there's no rush Another funny thing that I um, I read that somebody assumed about me was that, um, I, and obviously I think he meant it in a joking way, um, but he, he it, it was basically, he said he assumed that I was uh, very, very tall. Do I look tall? Um, I don't, I don't know. I think I'm kind of tall for a girl, maybe? I don't know. I don't like to use that phrase, but... Uh, I'm 5'7", uh, so I'm not, I guess I'm tall for some people, I'm definitely not petite, but um, no, I'm not like 7 feet or something like <laughs> Oh, somebody uh, also assumed that I love tattoos, which I don't even think that's even a fair assumption. Of course I love tattoos. I would be... I would be covered if I could, honestly. Like, uh, other than like my face and maybe my hands, ev I would cover everything else in tattoos if I could. It's just, it's an addiction. It's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna know. I want you guys to give me feedback in the comments down below. Do I look or do I give out a vibe that I smoke? 
it, or is that is, is it just something that I'm radiating? I don't know. Somebody assumed that I smoke uh, weed, um, and I don't. I know people that do, and I'm I'm all for it. I, you know, you do you. I don't think it's as harmful. I don't think it's as harmful as they made us believe when we were young. You know, with the whole dare program and shit. Um, but I, I just, I just don't, um, it's, it's just never really been something that interests me, um, so, but no shade to anybody that does, um, I just thought it was funny because it's not the first time that somebody has assumed that about me, or somebody just kind of, you know, thought that, kind of like a given, um, is it me? Is it, is it just because I'm laid back, or is it... What what is it? Let let me know. <laughs> the next assumption that I have also gotten quite a lot is um, that I'm high maintenance, which I think kind of falls in line with the whole being rich thing or having money. Um, I honestly that could not be further from the truth. I have gotten the high maintenance thing quite a lot. Um from friends, mostly male friends. I'm totally fine with going to, you know, the dollar show and watching a movie for a dollar and then, you know, getting something from the dollar menu. Like, <laughs> and actually something that Alex and I do quite often is we'll wait until the movie, whatever movie it is, comes to the dollar show because it's literally a dollar. and. Alex takes me to the movies, quote, slash dollar show all the time. And I I don't think that's something that I would be okay with if I was high maintenance. One of my very good friends actually uh, responded to this thread on Instagram and she actually said that she thought that I, before she met me, she assumed that I was conceited. <clears throat> Y'all need to understand, I didn't get cute until like senior year of high school and even then it was just like you had to look at me like an abstract painting like you know like doing one of those like with a squinty eye like eh, she could be she could be kind of cute if you look at her if you look at her like this from this angle she's kind of cute you know that's that's how it was like no bullshit like i was not the popular kid i was I, I i was not a cheerleader i was not like cute i was definitely not the cutest girl in the class the school the club nothing like i was i was just not that girl like, it, it just it, it just it didn't happen for me you guys it did. and i think a lot of people when i say that kind of get taken aback like what i was not i was not the shit like i'm still not the shit but i definitely wasn't the shit then <laughs> i feel like when you grow up with like the ugly duckling syndrome like me you don't you you can't be conceited like even now i'll still like sometimes be silly myself like i got this hair and i'm like oh girl you look cute but then in the back of my mind i'm like Bitch, no you don't, stop playing. Like, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and for the support. This was fun. Um, if you have any other assumptions about me or assumptions that you made about me prior to watching this video, go ahead and let me know because nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10, they're gonna be hilarious and I, I'm, I'm always down for a good laugh. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Remember to subscribe and be kind. Bye.